we go. Hello, I'm Ben King. I am 24 years old um, and I'm currently in the middle of a round the world trip uh, on my bike. Um, so it's weird that I'm actually stood behind a Himalayan because the bike I've actually got is a, is a Honda CRF 250. Um, now I actually wanted to go around the world on the Himalayan. Um, I think it must be about five years ago maybe when I first started planning the trip. And sadly the Himalayan wasn't actually out yet. So I couldn't, and I, I, I left trying to break the world record and become the youngest person to go around the world. Um, and so obviously I had to leave at a certain time, so I couldn't wait for the Himalayan to be released, which is gutting. Um, so I've done the London to China border with Pakistan on the CRF. Um, with visa issues and stuff, I had to leave the bike in Pakistan, fly back to get a new visa. Um, and uh, it's all been an absolute nightmare. And obviously now with coronavirus, I'm stuck in England for a while. But when I came back um, last year, um, Ian and the guys uh, um, Evan, uh, at um, Cooper. Uh, sorry, <laughs> at my, my Cooper. Yeah. Um, uh, everyone at Cooper B, uh, they gave, gave me a Himalayan um, to borrow to do a little trip around uh, the UK. And um, obviously, I was so excited to finally ride one because that's the bike I initially wanted to do the trip on. And it's really funny because obviously, I've got a Honda and I'm doing my trip on a Honda, but really, uh, people always ask me, What bike do you prefer? Um, you know, and they were, I got so many messages from people saying, Eunice, I'm playing a trip, do I go on the CRF or, or the Himalayan? I think they're, they're the most similar. And uh, I know it's bad, but I always say I would do it on a Himalayan. So I'm like the worst rider in the world. Like, I always crash every single day. Um, and I, on the CRF, the CRF so, it's got such a tall seat that I just don't feel comfortable, especially when I'm off-roading. It's just terrifying. But on the Himalayan, because it's so low to the ground, I can actually bend my knees. It was amazing. I felt so confident off road. So I took it down to um, down to Cornwall, Devon, and Norfolk, and then Wales. Um, and every time I saw a beach, I just wanted to go onto it. And ended up in the sea way too many times. I felt really bad because I kept taking photos of me in the water, <laughs> ruining his bike that he'd given me. Um, and uh, but it was just it was awesome. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. And to think that you can get I can't remember the price, but it, what you can get. The bike with the panniers and everything, it's literally kitted out already for a round the world trip. You haven't got to do anything. It's literally just good to go because whereas the CRF, as standard, you've got to, I had to obviously put a bash plate and guards and everything on it. And you can't put hard panniers on a CRF, you can't get like, the rack for it. So I ended, up, I ended up getting a BMW GS pannier rack and Triumph Explorer rack and managed to sort of make, weld this sort of rack on the back of my bike so I could put boxes on. Um, if I'd gone for a Himalayan at the beginning, I'd have, it would have been super easy if I was all that time. But, um, but yeah, honestly, the Himalaya was absolutely amazing. I was, um, yeah, I, I couldn't believe how, how sort of decent I was off road. I always thought I was really rubbish off road, but with the Himalayan, I actually was pretty, I was actually all right. Um, even though I did keep dropping it just because I'm rubbish, but still, it was so much fun. And because the weight's so low to the ground, even when it's fully loaded, when you do drop it and you were lifted up, it's super easy, especially if you're by yourself and you're doing a trip in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's, I, I, honestly, I think this is the perfect adventure around the world bike um so who knows obviously yeah, the the bike's stuck my bike's in pakistan at the moment who knows if i can actually get that bike out of the country because obviously with temporary import permits and whatnot expiring um so I might, I might have to start the trip again um so i'm thinking i've literally just p picked up a, a triumph bonneville um that's, that's always been ever since i was a kid that's all great escape boys bonneville um but that's not a bike you can take around the world so if i have to start the trip again then I would love to do it on Himalayan. Like, I mean, this bike, this is literally just, it's just, it's just perfect. Every time I look at it, I just smile, it's so cool. Um, so who knows? Stay tuned because maybe I could end up starting the trip again. Um, and it's funny because it took me, what, two years to get to, to Pakistan, China. Um, but really, that's literally like a two, a two week journey if you, if you go fast. So I could easily catch up from where I've left off and continue. So yeah, so yeah, if you're looking at getting a, a bike for a trip. Um, honestly, don't even, you, just, just get one. These are absolutely amazing. Um, and just, yeah, you'll have so much fun. All right then, ride safe, catch out. <laughs>